Hi, I'm Amy at the Alti Store. Today we're going to go over some of the features of the Morningstar Pro Star charge controller. Now the Pro Star is available in a 15 amp, 12 or 24 volt auto sensing, or in a 30 amp, 12 or 24 volt auto sensing. They're both available with or without the meter. If you don't have the meter, they all have LEDs that give you the, the information like state of charge, whether the, the battery bank is full or charging or, or low, and will give you any sort of, of error indications as well. So even if you don't get the meter, you do have a fairly decent uh, way of seeing what's going on. The meter is nice though because it will actually, when, when the system boots up, it'll run through a, um, an auto testing, a self test, and it will show you the results there. It will also, during operation, will cycle through showing you the, the battery voltage, the solar current coming in, and the load current going out. So it's, it's really a, a nice tool. It does have a low voltage disconnect option. So the, the, uh, you can connect up a load such as maybe some lights, a DC load, and this will actually power it through your battery bank but it will control it based on the voltage of the battery bank. So if your battery bank is starting to get low, it will turn off your load. So it will save your battery rather than, than draining the battery all the way down. Say you left the lights on and you left, it will control that. If, you're, if your battery starts going low, it'll, it'll turn that load off. Real nice feature. It does ha have the ability to configure it for what kind of lead acid batteries you're using if it's gel, sealed, or flooded, and it will set the, uh, the regulation voltage and whether or not it equalizes and how it equalizes based on what kind of battery you have. Because different batteries like to have different levels of charge and, and equalization, or not at all. Um, it has a button here so you can actually disconnect the solar and, um, and the battery based on whether you, you click this button and it's got an internal temperature sensor so that you can, you can change how it charges the battery, the rate that it charges the battery based on the temperature. If you've got it installed somewhere that's away from the battery bank, it does have an optional remote temperature sensor so that you would put this right next to your batteries and you would have this elsewhere and this allows you to have access to the, the, the meter and see the meter outside of where your batteries are but still be able to do temperature compensation. The controller can handle up to six gauge solid or multi-strand or eight gauge fine, fine strand wire. And um, that's, uh, that's really a nice little overview of the, of the features. Thanks for watching. Bye.